What's up everybody, Pastor Matt here. Thanks for checking into my YouTube channel. Very excited today to be announcing a new partnership with Lexum Press, whose books I'm going to be reviewing in the near future, starting today with The Ten Commandments by Peter J. Lightheart. And so in these Lexum Press reviews, I'm going to be objectively reviewing their books, giving my own honest opinions, although the books were most likely given to me by Lexum for the sake of these reviews. So let's start off today with the Ten Commandments, A Guide to the Perfect Law of Liberty by one Peter J. Lightheart, whose name may be familiar to you for reasons we'll discuss just in a moment. Uh, but nevertheless, let me introduce this as the Christian Essentials series, a new series of small hardback editions, very nice, as the title suggests, about the essentials of the Christian faith. So we're going to see books coming out in this series. This one's on the Ten Commandments, but we're also going to see others on the Apostles' Creed, Baptism, the Lord's Prayer, and Worship. Now, these are excellent little books, very readable, about 123 pages or so, so something you could read just in a matter of a week or perhaps two. I suppose it depends on how fast you do your reading. And obviously, as this title suggests, this is a look at the Ten Commandments from a very fresh uh, and very helpful perspective. Each commandment getting a chapter, and each chapter consisting of about four to five pages, so we're not talking a huge, huge monolithic, um, you know, boulder-sized, mountain-sized book here. We're talking about brief, quick surveys of the relevant material. So this one, like I said, is about 123 pages. But don't let that fool you because this book is extraordinarily well-researched. Um, the works cited at the end of the book give about 129 academic citations. So if you're interested in reading more on any one of the topics that he presents, there's tons of material for you to search down. So why did I mention Peter J. Lightheart at the beginning of the review? Well, Lightheart got himself into some controversy, which I don't really want to rehash necessarily in this video, but if you have Google at home, I'm sure you can look it up. Basically, the idea there is that Lightheart came into some controversy in the PCA a while back related to his views on federal vision, and uh, that... Those troubles led to his ultimate separating from the PCA and his affiliation today with the CREC, the Christian, uh, what is it, Reformed Evangelical Churches or something like that. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and have a look at this book. I'm going to read just a little bit to you. This is from the introduction. It says, The Ten Commandments are a character portrait of Jesus, the Son of God. The Ten Words lay out the path of imitatio dei, or the imitation of God, because they lay the path of the imitatio Christi, or the imitation of Christ. As Israel kept the commandments, Augustine wrote, the life of that people foretold and foreshadowed Christ. As Irenaeus said, Christ fulfills the law that he spoke from Sinai. The law exposes our sin, restrains the unruly, provides a guide to life. But Jesus is the heart and soul of the Decalogue. The first use of the law is Christological. And then it, I like this last line here. It says, is the Decalogue for us? We might as well ask, is Jesus for us? And so throughout, as Peter Lightheart is analyzing each of the Ten Commandments, we're going to see how they, in some ways, reflect and extol the very character and nature of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let me just give one um, example exposition here. This is working on the Tenth Commandment regarding coveting. He says, desire is fundamental to biblical anthropology. It's understanding of human existence. We think, but we aren't primarily thinking beings. We are desiring beings. Like the animals, Adam was made a living soul. Our souls move us to action, and souls move us by desire. Sexual desire is a longing of soul. Hunger and thirst arise from the soul. And the yearnings for God's presence is a desire of the soul. Dante was right. Everything we do is motivated by proper or distorted love, Desire is the combustible power that moves human life. Well, a great paragraph there from Peter Lightheart. And most of this book is filled with the same incisive, insightful, precise language, very modern in some of the applications. Uh, great stuff from Peter Lightheart. Again, not to rehash the controversies of his past, but I think this book is definitely worth a fresh look. And if you've never read anything from Lightheart before, perhaps this will be an introduction to some of his thoughts. Although I will say again, this book primarily stays in the center lane of Christian morality, 
since it's primarily just an exposition of the Ten Commandments, or as he calls them, the Ten Words. Well, that's about it for now. If I get any more books in this series, I'll be sure to let you know, but I'll post a link in the description of this video if you want to jump over to Amazon.com and grab this book for your own collection. I look forward to, personally, some of the other books in the series as well on the Apostles' Creed, Baptism, Lord's Supper, and Worship. All right, so links in the description of this video to grab this from Amazon. Thanks for checking into my YouTube page. Pastor Matt signing out. Love you lots, and we'll talk to you later.